सो टूडे टपिक इज आर हाइड्रोकार्बन एमिशंस फ्रम टू स्ट्रोक इंजिन सो उल नो दैट द टू स्ट्रोक इंजिन इमिट्स ह्यूज हाइड्रोकार्बन्स एंड इट इज द वन ऑफ द मेजर पॉल्यूटेंट्स हुई इज इमिटेड फ्रम इंजिन now the uh, two stroke you all know uh, you all know about the two stroke engines and uh, how these two strokes covers every steps of uh, cycles like suction compression power and exhaust so uh, in this two stroke engine uh, suction and compression is done in one one cycles or one strokes and uh, uh, power power and exhaust are also uh, in, in another strokes so the all the all the four uh, four process of the cycles can complete in two strokes but in case of four stroke engine this suction suction will be in one stroke compression will be in one stroke power will be in one stroke and exhaust will be also in one stroke so these are the basic difference between two stroke and four stroke engine also and one more thing the valves in four stroke engine we are using the valves but in case of two stroke engine we are using the port and one more thing that is also important that you, uh, you know that the scavenging scavenging is a process of uh, of a two stroke engine that uh, intake uh, in inlet fresh airs are forced to the exhaust gases okay and this process is known as the scavenging process so in fresh air fuel mixture are entered into the engine so it this uh, this air fuel mixture can force the forced uh, create some force into the exhaust gases so that the exhaust gases can escape from the engine now hydrocarbon emissions we are at hydrocarbon emissions in uh, in uh, in some uh, old matlab uh, means um is it or old two stroke engine uh, two stroke engine especially si engines and um, so many modern uh, small kind of si engines add uh, hydrocarbon emissions to the exhaust during the scavenging process as i told you earlier that the scavenge what is the scavenging process uh, the intake air fuel mixture is used to push the exhaust residual gases or uh, residual out of the open exhaust port and this was the scavenging process and uh, when this is uh, when the scavenging process is done some of the fresh air fuel mixture is uh, mixed with the exhaust gases and uh, the that are expelled out of the cylinders before the exhaust port close and uh, this can be a major sources of hydrocarbon emissions in the exhaust gases and uh, it is also one of the major reasons why there are been so modern two stroke cycles uh, in automobile engines some experimental automobile two stroke cylinder engines and just about all small engines use crankcase 
compression and this is a second source of hydrocarbon emissions. The crankcase area and pistons of these engines are lubricated by adding oil to the fuel. The oil is vaporized with the fuel and lubricate the surface which come in contact with the air fuel or the oil mixture. Okay. And some of the oil vapor is carried into the combustion chamber. And this, uh, this oil are burnt and act like the additional fuel. And uh, lubricating oil, as I told earlier, the lubricating oil, it is also the, it is also a major source of hydrocarbon emissions because in two-stroke engine, we are pouring lubricating oil in with the fuel. Okay, as you as you may be seen in scooters, and we are using some lubricating when we are filling our uh, two-stroke moped or two-stroke bikes like that. So. In this, in this process, uh, lubricating oil can burn very easily because it's in the engine cylinder. So, engine cylinder, engine cylinder is uh, getting also very high temperature. So, that's why there is a huge chance of maximum amount of um, uh, oil or lubricating oil can be burned by participating or with uh, from uh, two stroke engines so this is this is also very important factor also because we all kind of two stroke engines are using the uh, not uh, not now that is all kind of uh, two stroke engines are using the um, uh, lubricating oil uh, and this lubricating oil is also the cause of or not not only also it is it is a major major part of hydrocarbon emissions so uh, engine oil is or engine oil may be dangerous or can emit hydrocarbon emissions in the two stroke engines so after the exhaust port after the exhaust port close fuel is added injection directly into the cylinders and this creates a need for very fast and efficient vaporization and mixing of the air fuel but it can eliminate a major sources of hydrocarbon emissions some automobiles engines are supercharged instead of crankcase compression and this eliminates hydrocarbon pollutions from the engine source so that are the engine uh, hydrocarbon emissions of two stroke engine now we will talking about the hydrocarbon emissions from the CI engine or compressed ignition engine so basically compressed ignition engine is a diesel engine and it uh, cannot generate so much of uh, hydrocarbons as compared the petrol engine okay
hydrocarbon emissions is also CI engine. What is CI engine and what is SI engine? CI engine is compressed ignition engine and SI engine is the spark ignition engine. And uh, due to the uh, CI engine or compression ignition engine, uh, the, it, it operates within our overall fuel in uh, equivalence ratio. Uh, CI engines have only about one fifth the hydrocarbon emissions of the SI engine. As I told you just before, one or two minutes, the CI engine cannot generate too much hydrocarbons as compared to the uh, uh, SI engine or spark ignition engines. The components in the diesel fuel have higher molecular weights on average than those in a gasoline blend and uh, this results in higher boiling and condensing temperatures therefore the shoot formation is more in CI engine shoot so shoot formation he can place a huge um, uh, huge emissions in car, in CI engines as well uh, but in case of uh, SI engine there is no shoot particles are emit from SI engines. Okay. There is no shoot particles or emits from SI engine. It is mainly generated by the CI engine. So what will happen? Uh, hydrocarbons uh, hydrocarbon particles from the CI engine are uh, condensed onto the surface of the solid carbons and that is generated during the combustion so hydrocarbon emissions on the um, hydrocarbon particles are uh, accumulated and may be stored in the um, uh, shoot particles or carbon shoot particles in uh, which is emit from the engine ci engines now the most of the burned as uh, mixing continuous and the Combustion process proceeds only a small percentage of original carbon uh, original carbon shoot that is formed uh, comes out from the cylinders and the hydrocarbon components uh, con uh, condenses on mean these hydrocarbon particles uh, are uh, condensed on the uh, surface of the carbon shoot particles and in addition to the solid carbon particles themselves it contributes to the hydrocarbon emissions from the engine because emission is emissions whatever it may be stuck on the carbon particles so that is not hydrocarbon emissions that is carbon emissions or carbon monoxide emissions like that but uh, it is true that the hydrocarbons from the CI engine very very less amount of hydrocarbon of CI engine as compared to the SI engine that is 
the hydrocarbon emission that hydrocarbon is deposited on the carbon shoot particle layer in the general uh, in, in general thing uh, is compression ignition engine has conversion efficiency is about near about 95 to 98 percent this means that only two percent of hydrocarbon fuel being emitted and uh, because of the non homogeneity of the air fuel air mixtures some local spots in the combustion chambers will be too lean to uh, to proper combustions other spots may be too rich and will not be enough oxygen to burn all the fuels local support range from very rich to very lean and the many flame bronze exist uh, at the same time with the understanding uh, some fuel particles in uh, fuel rich zone uh, that never reacts um, and never never reacts uh, any kind of uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, lack of oxygen and uh, in the fuel in zone the combustion is limited and some fuel does not get burned and with the with the the over mixing of uh, some fuel particles will mixed with already burned gas and will therefore not combust totally that means some part of fresh energy fuel mixtures which cannot take place in the combustion process so they cannot leave the combustion chamber without permitting the um, without permitting the uh, engine and uh, it is important that injector may be constructed such that when injection stops there is no dribble and uh, however a small amount of liquid fuel will be trapped on the tip of the nozzle this very small volume of fuel is called sack volume and its size depending on the nozzle diagrams and this sack volume of the liquid fuel evaporates very slowly because it is surrounded by the fuel rich zone and once the injector uh, injector nozzle closes there is no pressure pushing uh, it and into the cylinders some the some of this uh, fuel does not evaporate until the combustion has stopped and this increases the hydrocarbon emissions also and one more thing this uh, compressed ignition engines also have hydrocarbon emissions for some of the some reason as spark ignition engines do okay okay thank you